There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks, and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. No, it can't be! Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the Cerebral Assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I love it! To bring our audience up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with his mass fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. Guys, Buzz is in absolute shock. Well, he better snap out of it or he's gonna get beat up by this fan a second time. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. What a stomp! Good grief! Grief. Ooh, what an eye. And look at back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's on the defensive here. I fully expect him to bounce back though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal shoulders on the mat. No trouble kicking out of that one. Gonna take a whole lot more. Oh, the old European uppercut. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. He might have it. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Here it nailed it. Will Buzz be able to get right to the chest? I'm not sure how much he has. Oh, right in the face. Destroyed. Incredible. Yeah, few superstars are as acrobatic. Don't you dare get up, man. He's looking at it. Neck breaker. But is it enough to end it? He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Going for it all. Oh, and a DDT. That should do it. <laughs> oh, man. We've got a cover. And there's the kick out. How'd he do that? He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Wow, I thought this was over. Uh-oh. Dragons. It's in, it's in! Night, night. 
That might have done it, Cole. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Impressive, Cole. Reverses that one. Ooh. Buzz is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker. And there's just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Vicious strike. Oh, leg sweep. Nicely done. He's not going to like this. Oh, look at... Oh. <laughs> what a comeback. Penny predicament. One, two, three. The pinfall and the victory. These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. And finally. It looks like he finally might find out who cost him his WWE contract. That's, that's Baron Blade, the owner of BCW. I'm sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. And I know after you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career, my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. Wait, just please forgive me. Go ahead, hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. You're not worth it. I told you, this match would change your life forever. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. I just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was gonna expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here, and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait, there's one more thing you might wanna know. 
I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match, because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown or Raw the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this has been an emotional night and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in, but if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable. Hey, bro. <laughs> what a crazy night. I know. That was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, OK? I'm, I'm still in shock from everything that happened. <laughs> well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're going to do great. Aw, uh, thanks, man. You know, I. too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Aww. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... I'm gonna miss you, man. BCW handshake? It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know, it's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. Wait, 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 wow! Got to be kidding me. You know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs 
Uh, no way, all right? This van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Uh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's U.S. title. That's great. Who else is in the battle royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. You're gonna love this one, buddy. You're gonna love this one. Pigeonhole coal. You can't put me in a box, cause I'm already in it. Buzz, I was just watching NXT and then it hit me. The gimmick that's finally gonna get me to the top. Listen to this. Adam Cole's evil twin brother, Cole Adam. Well, well I guess technically if we're twin brothers, and we have to have the same last name, but oh, whatever. We can work out the kinks later. Listen, if you have Mr. McMahon's email, could you shoot that to me? <laughs> I really think this idea is money, bro. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Buzz, I was just doing my laundry and I had to call you. I was watching the dryer go round and round, right? And the clothes spinning in the machine. And all of a sudden, it hit me. The best gimmick idea ever. The Cyclone. It's like Cyclone, but I put my name Cole in there. And I basically like spin around and like throw clotheslines at people. It's money, I'm telling you, Buzz. I'm running with the next show. You're gonna be hearing a lot about the Cyclone later. 
Buzz. Buzz, I, I can't talk for long. They're coming. And they're listening. But I got it. My best gimmick idea yet. I've just been binging conspiracy documentaries. Get this. My new name, Grassy Knoll Cole. You'll want to believe. All right, throw away this phone as soon as you get this voicemail. Bye. Buzz, you're gonna love this one. I just got done spending hours on my computer spreading viral rumors about you. That's right, it's me, Internet Troll Cole. You mad, bro? <laughs> the kids are gonna love it. Memes! Buzz, good news. I got my mojo back, baby. This one's gonna be money, I guarantee it. Listen to this. Field goal coal. And he shoots! He scores! Right? Is that football? You don't think I'll actually have to play football, do you? Oh, man. Uh, uh, all right, well, well, how about this one? Drum roll coal. Right? And I can come out and it's just a, a drum. And the whole crowd will... Oh, man. Uh, sinkhole coal? Because when you wrestle me, you'll... Sink. North Pole coal. I guess I could be like an elf. Or something. Uh, what else do we got? Fishbowl coal. I can wear a fishbowl on my head. That'll be really over. chef of some kind. Ah, oh, man. Keyhole coal? I, I, I make keys. Loophole coal. I guess I'm like a lawyer, maybe. Parole coal? Like I'm, I'm, I'm under house arrest at all times. Maybe I could have like a cop be my manager. Oh, boy. Oh, Buzz, you're gonna love this one, buddy. You're gonna love this one. Got no self-control coal. I just ate like eight donuts. But I've been dominating SmackDown Live for over two years. And then you show up and get a chance to be the number one contender for the United States title on your first night here? There shouldn't even be a battle royal. I'm a former United States champion, and I should be the number one contender. <laughs> Whatever. The way I see it, another guy named Baron almost destroyed your career before. And tonight, I'm gonna finish what he started. I'm no stranger to battle royals. I was the runner-up in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 33. No one else stands a chance tonight. Yeah. Insulting the modern-day Maharaja is not the way you want to start your tenure on SmackDown Live. 